Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss valence electrons. Today's essential question, what are valence electrons? For today's lecture, make sure you have both your periodic table and your orbita orbital diagram handout ready. Valence electrons. Valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost principal quantum very important word here, energy level. The electrons in the outermost energy level. And then we've got core electrons. And the core electrons are the inner electrons, meaning the ones that are not valence. Okay, anything that's not valence electrons are core electrons. Okay. Let's try a quick example, like, um, we'll start with carbon. Carbon has how many electrons? It has six electrons. So, our orbital diagram, we're going to have 1s with two electrons, 2s, with two electrons and 2p with two electrons. So that's the orbital diagram for carbon. If we were to write the electron configuration, it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Okay, and let's go over a really quick reminder. So the 1, the 2, and the 2 those represent energy levels. The S, the S, and the P, those are sublevels. And the two, the two, and the two are the electrons. All right, so now to find the valence electrons, let me rewrite this because this is sort of a mess. So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. All right, so remember valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost energy level. And the energy level are the, the coefficients, the big numbers here. So that is going to be the valence electrons, 2s2 and 2p6, 2p2, sorry. Those are our valence electrons. Again, because the coefficients, the 2 and the 2, are the electrons in the outermost energy level, not the outermost sublevel, the outermost energy level. All right, let's try another one, like... Let's do magnesium. And actually, this time, why don't you hit pause, try to do the orbital diagram and the electron configuration for magnesium, and then determine the number of valence electrons. Hit play once you have it, and we'll see how you did. All right, so magnesium has 12 electrons. So we'll have 1s, 2 electrons, 2s, 2 electrons, 2p, with a total of 6 electrons. And right now I'm following Hund's rule. And 2, whoops, 2s with 2 electrons. Okay, so the electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and the valence electrons, again, outermost energy level. The outermost energy level is the 3 there. So 3s2 are the valence electrons, and that means magnesium has a total of 2 valence electrons. Okay, hopefully you didn't find that too difficult. Um, one more quick topic, let's talk about 
abbreviated configuration. Okay, abbreviated configuration. Abbreviated configuration is a shorthand way to write electron configurations. So to do abbreviated configuration, what you do is you write the symbol for the noble gas. Um, now, we don't know what noble gases are yet, but if you look at your periodic table on the very far right, that very last column there um, are the noble gases, helium, neon, argon, rhenon, xenon, uh, whoops, argon, krypton, xenon, rhenon. Okay, so you write the symbol for the noble of gas and before the atom and then the valence electrons. Um, so let me show you how this works. All right, um, being that we already solved the electron configura configuration for magnesium right here, we'll go ahead and write that again. We'll just use that one. So we have 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. All right, so remember the valence electrons for magnesium are the 3s2. Now, look at what we have written that is not valence. The core electrons is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. That's a total of how many electrons? That's 10 electrons. So what atom has 10 electrons? Well, that's neon. We know that because the atomic number for neon is 10, which means neon has 10 protons, which means neon needs 10 electrons. So all that I bracketed in yellow is the noble gas neon. And then we finish that up with our valence electrons. Oh, we usually, then we write our valence electrons, 3s2. So this is a way to write abbreviated electron configuration. And what this is saying is that this, that magnesium is just like neon with the valence electrons 3s2. All right, let's try another one. How about oxygen? And actually, this time, why don't you write the, figure out the electron configuration for oxygen and write that down, and then see if you can write down the abbreviated configuration. So hit pause, try it out, and then hit play and see how you did. All right, so oxygen has eight electrons, and so the orbital diagram is 1s with two electrons, 2s with two electrons, and 2p with four electrons. So that means its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. All right, so next up, let's find the valence electrons. The valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost energy level, which means 2s and 2p. So those are our valence electrons. So now let's look at our core electrons, which is 1s2, which means we have something with two electrons, which means our core electrons look just like helium. So then our abbreviated figure configuration is helium plus the valence electrons 2s2 and 2p4. All right, so that's how you do abbreviated configuration. So hopefully you now know how to find valence electrons and how to write abbreviated configurations. And that's it for today. Have a good one.